Let's talk about taking pictures of galaxies. If you want to take picture of galaxies, it's better to use like a Smith's Cassegrain telescope like Celestron 8SE. So when you work with longer focal length, there are several things that you need to make sure. Make sure your image strain does not have any compression rings. So if you put a compression ring in between your image strain somewhere, your image strain may have a tilt. So your camera is here in between, you have a compression ring for of something, and then the camera might tilt a little bit. So you have to make sure you don't have any compression rings. So that way you don't have a curvature on your picture. So if you do have a tilt, you actually can see it uh, if you take a picture for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds or so in a place where there is a richer star field, you will see on one side the stars are going to drag a little bit, on the other side the stars are round, whether it's up or down uh, or any other side, it doesn't matter. That tells you that you have tilt in your image strain. So you wanted to make sure you are putting just the image strain with all the things that are threaded. Two, make sure you uh, have a good back focus measured. Uh, for every telescope, uh, there is a published back focus. So make sure between your focal reducer or maybe including focal reducer, depends on what kind of equipment you're using, you measure the distance between that, whether telescope or focal reducer, and your camera, and make sure it is properly uh, positioned. If you miss the back focus, you don't get the round stars that you need. When you are working with a longer focal length, uh, making the stars round and keeping them with a low FWHM, the full width half maximum, is really difficult. So you wanted to make sure you maintain that. Have some kind of a pollution filter, light pollution filter, or in my case, I'm using the Barter IR UV filter here. I, that gives me a very good contrast. That's why I use that with the color camera. Ideally, when you are taking pictures of galaxies, you will actually get a better result if you include some frames with the hydrogen alpha. Like an Make sure you have a good guiding system, whether you use an off-axis guider or a guide camera on the top, make sure your guide camera is long enough to match your focal length. So let's say if you have a 2000 focal length on an 8SE, better to use something that has a focal length like 600, right? So you don't want to use something that is like 150 focal length on a 2000 focal length camera. So make sure you have a good focal length guide scope because you wanted to make sure your tracking is enough for you to get that close to the sky. The best way to go is off-axis gator. If you can manage to install the off-axis gator somewhere in the image train, that would be fantastic. If you... During the day, before you start taking pictures of the galaxy, like in my case, for me in the evening, on this side it's east and on this side it is west. So I point my telescope to the east in the evening time and I look for uh, any electric poles. Those cables will have bolts. Those are like aluminum or some kind of a metal bolts. And when the sun is shining from the west side in the evening time, these bolts actually shine very, very well. So if you uh, wanted to check your collimation of your telescope, make sure do a, like a quick check and see how good your collimation is. It is a rough collimation, you don't need to like change a whole lot, but if you are completely off, I think that would be a good starting point. When you bring the telescope outside, you are going to recollimate to the stars uh, to make sure it is good. A good collimation is very critical for you to get a good picture of a galaxy. Because you are like so close, you don't want collimation to be off. When 
you bring the telescope outside actually to start taking pictures uh, before you turn the mount on before you do anything else uh, connect your camera to your computer and make sure you verify uh, how is your focus right so if you can fix the focus either using a bassinov mask or using like a focuser or manual focus make sure your focus is good uh, to start with you can fine tune it after you look at the object but i think uh, before the mount start tracking when you are looking at the polaris you can use the stars near the polaris area and you can actually make sure the focus is good so one of the things that you need to make sure have an automatic focuser if you don't want to use an automatic focuser and if you wanted to use the manual focuser that's fine but make sure you put a any extender to that to that focuser to hold the manual focuser to give you a little bit of extra space which makes the turn like half speed rather than a full speed if you have that facility make sure you put something on top of your manual focus and make sure you are turning slowly rather than slow turning with a full speed okay so that does help when you are actually focusing for a fine focus because when you start with the bathnav mask uh, your focus is really good but when you actually go to the galaxy and start taking pictures you will actually see your fwhm is like 6 or something uh, you can't bring it down to 4 using your fingers it's very difficult so you may need to use that extender anything that you wanted to use and then turn a little bit like a half speed and that actually increases uh, goes left or goes right whichever need, whichever way it needs to turn to get you that really fine focus for that particular galaxy all right so the next step is to make sure you are very very well polar aligned generally polar alignment is a must but in case of galaxies you got to be double check uh, to make sure you are perfectly polar aligned because you are looking at the like a small object so make sure you are perfectly polar aligned so today i wanted to take a picture of uh, the fireworks galaxy fireworks galaxy is faint but it's really beautiful uh, using the color camera with the barter ir uv filter and see how i can uh, take a picture i'll show you guys my workflow